World Book Day is an annual event organized by UNESCO to promote reading and publishing. The first World Book Day was celebrated on April the 23rd in 1995 and continues to be recognized on that day. The original idea was conceived in 1922 by Spanish writer Vicente Clavel Andrés as a way to honor the author Miguel de Cervantes. It was first celebrated on the 7th of October 1926, Cervantes' birthday, before being moved to his death date, April the 23rd, in 1930. The celebration continued to enjoy great popularity in Spain, especially in Catalonia, where it coincides with the Dia of Saint Jordi, the patron saint of Catalonia. The Dia da usually involves the exchange of gifts between loved ones and, since the 1931 book fair in Barcelona, the gifts are a book and a rose. In 1995, UNESCO decided that the World Book and Copyright Day will be celebrated on April the 23rd, as the date is also the anniversary of the death of William Shakespeare and Inca Garcilaso de la Vega, as well as that of the birth or death of several other prominent authors. In a historical coincidence, Shakespeare and Cervantes died on the same date, April the 23rd, 1616, but not on the same day, as at the time Spain used the Gregorian calendar and England used the Julian calendar. Shakespeare actually died 10 days after Cervantes died, on May the 3rd of the Gregorian calendar. Please, before we continue, hit the like button, subscribe and activate the bell for notifications. Here are some pictures that show people reading. Sean Keats by Joseph Severn, 1821. The painter Joseph Severn devoted himself to caring for the poet Sean Keats, who was suffering from tuberculosis. Keats' last moments in 1821 were painted by Severn in this portrait of the poet reading. Keats is deeply absorbed in the book. The Girl Reading a Book by Jean Honor Fragonard, 1776. The character is a profile figure holding a book lightly in her right hand, completely absorbed in reading. She's probably sitting by the window reading a book. Because her face and body are lit up and faint shadows are visible on the wall, she wears a lemon-colored dress with white collars and a fawn ribbons that accentuate her torso, neck and head. Her warm brown tones make the pillow feel soft and warm. It is a painting that captures the intimate moment of a person and, in a sense, the artist intervenes in the person's inner life or in their extremely private time. There are various brush strokes, but the dress is painted very darkly by mixing yellow and white, while the pillow has a loose touch. The color part is expressed in detail. Overall, I feel that reading a book as an intimate and lonely act. Titus reading a book by Rembrandt. 1656. Rembrandt and his wife Saskia had a son, Titus. In this painting, Titus, 15 years old, is reading a book. At the time of this painting, Rembrandt was in serious financial trouble. In 1668, Titus married, but died the same year at the age of 27. Rembrandt died the following year. Reading a Storybook by James Tissot, 1878. I loved England very much. The French painter James Tissot changed his name from Jacques Joseph to James Tissot and painted mainly Victorian life in London, like this painting of two women reading in a park. The Station of Saint Lazar by Edouard Manet, 1873. It seems rebellious and insensitive sometimes showing a piercing gaze. This painting shows the characteristics of the model Victorine Mourant. 
In the Bookshop by Viktor Vaznetsov, 1876. Vaznetsov expressed Russian national identity. He was a painter of the Abramtsevo school who tried to revive a kind of national art. It is not a bookstore in an urban area where intellectuals come and go. It is a shabby bookstore in a small town that mainly sells paintings of sacred images. Portrait of Duranti by Edgar Degas, 1879. The novelist and art critic Louis-Emile de Monturanti, he was the legitimate child of the author Prosper Merime. He developed a realist literary movement and supported Impressionist. A year after Degas painted this portrait, Duranti died. Don Quixote in the Study by Gustave Doré, 1862. In the mid-19th century, Doré was one of France's leading illustrators. In addition to Don Quixote, Gargantua and Pantagruel by Ravel Le, New Songs by Dante, etc., he is famous for drawing illustrations for more than 220 books. He is also one of the pioneers of Western comics. The scene where Don Quixote, a book madman, falls into a night saga and loses his sense of reality. It is humorous yet fantastically portrayed. Music Book Shelf by Giuseppe Maria Crespi, 1745. Musician and music historian Father Giovanni Battista Martini's library. Book titles in the paintings were added by another artist between 1746 and 1757. The largest collection of musical literature in the 18th century was owned by Father Martini. It now forms the backbone of the Bologna Museum of Music and Literature. Claude Monet by Pierre-Auguste Renoir, 1874. Renoir and Monet, after 1862, studied painting together at the atelier of Charles Glair in Paris. Of course, both Renoir and Monet submitted their paintings to the first Impressionist exhibition in Paris in 1874. The Beguiling of Merlin by Bern Jones, 1870. Bern Jones separated from his wife with two children. He fell in love with a Greek beauty, Maria Sambaco. He portrayed her as Morgana, reading a book to the wizard Merlin. The painter regarded Sambaco as the incarnation of Venus. Boy with a Book by Jean-Baptiste Peronot, mid-1740s. A slender, pale but bright-eyed young boy is flipping through the pages. It seems like a difficult and lengthy book for a boy to understand properly. Peronot began his oil painting and pastel painting in earnest. When it was presented at the Paris Salon in 1746, the title was Portrait of a Little Boy Holding a Book. The Painter's Brother. Portrait of Luca Pacioli by Jacobo de Barbari, 1490. Pacioli, a Franciscan monk and famous mathematician, he opens the textbook of Euclidean geometry with one hand. On the other hand, he's holding a pointer and pointing at the planar geometry board. The person next to him is presumed to be Guidobaldo Prince Urbino who supported Pacioli. Pacioli was the first to organize double-entry bookkeeping and is also called a pioneer in accounting. Prevolov Mikhailovich Garcin by Ilya Repin, 1884. The painter Ilya Repin is regarded as a master of Russian realism in the 19th century. He is also famous for painting many portraits of contemporary Russian artists. He left many great paintings that showed the social image of Russia in the 19th century. The writer Garzin died in 1888 at the age of 33. He suffered from mental illness since childhood. By the time this painting was drawn, he was in and out of a mental hospital. The cause of his death was that he was seriously injured by jumping from a building because he could not stand mental illness two anxious eyes and two hands holding a book. Elizabeth Sidal reading a book by Dante Gabriel Rossetti, 1854. Rossetti married Sidal in 1860, but in 
but she died two years later. Rossetti put the manuscript in his wife's coffin when it was not published. Seven years later, he had a contractor named Charles Howell open the coffin and take out the manuscript. The batch of manuscript will be calfskin bound and the edges will be red. Rossetti asked Howell to keep it a secret. Twenty years later, Howell's mysterious death was revealed to the world. Bookworm by Carl Spitz, Vec, 1850. This is an oil on canvas painting by the German painter and poet Karl Spitzbeck. The picture was made circa 1850 and is typical of Spitzbeck's humorous anecdotal style and its characteristic of Biedermeier art in general. The painting is representative of the introspective and conservative mood in Europe during the period between the end of the Napoleonic Wars and the revolutions of 1848 but at the same time pokes fun at those attitudes by embodying them in the fasty old scholar unconcerned with the affairs of the mundane world.